Racing is about how you perform under pressure. The pressure you put on yourself combined with the pressure from your sponsors, fans, and fellow competitors. That pressure can either make or break you, and ultimately, it defines who you are as a racer. In only his third full season, 23-year-old RJ Anderson is already battling for the points championship against a stacked field led by off-road legend Rob McCachron. RJ has managed to podium six times this year, but even when he wasn't on the podium, he maintained his points with strong finishes. What's going on, RJ Anderson? We're out here at Lucasell Off-Road, rounds 13 and 14. Season's closing down, and uh, got some night races going on this weekend. With three rounds of racing left here in the in the points, to be sitting second in points is, a, I think, a testament to show how hard we've worked in the off season. I knew the work we put in, did to the truck, and and with the help from our sponsors, and I knew we had a solid program coming into this year, and I'm stoked that the results have shown that. We're quite a ways off Rob Mack, who's sitting in first, but uh, hey, I'm 23 years old. I think we're the youngest team out here in, in Pro 2, and to be second behind Rob Mack, who's an absolute legend, we're doing this forever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not settling until we're the Rob Mack dominating and everyone's settling for second, but I think it's a, a solid effort put in by this whole RJ37 team. Well, it, it's cool, you know, um, you know, RJ, you know, I respect him. You, you, I can pretty much tell when you just hang around him that, you know, he's a good kid and, uh, you know, that, I, I feel I'm the same, you know, I, I feel like I'm uh, easy going, you know, uh, you know, when it's time to go get it and win, you know, I can go do that. But I also, you know, I don't, I don't want to take people out and crash into them. And I, RJ, you know, he's, he's young and those things happen. And, uh, but I think he's trying to model himself the same way, you know, try to be a clean racer and win it fair and square. One thing I'm super proud of my guys on is, is how tough my truck is this year. I think that we had a couple good runs in 2015 and just some small mechanicals and it's not that things were overlooked or it's just stuff happened and we learned as a team, you know, what works and what wasn't working and uh, I think here in 2016 our DNF rate has been so much better and, and that's one reason that we're sitting so good in points. At the end of the day, I think all we can do is try to win this thing. We're a little ways out of sec uh, first place of points sitting second, so only thing I can do is go win, go beat Rob, gain as many points on him as I can. And I'd love to come out and win, even sweep here in Elsinore. I'm, I'm fast at this track and I know we got the truck that can do it. I think that that's all it's going to take is just to go out and, and try to win this thing. Short course racing is a contact sport, but sometimes drivers cross the thin line between harmless rubbing and malicious contact. Carl Renner crossed that thin line, taking RJ out and ending his chance of a points championship. RJ would have had to be on the podium both days to maintain his points battle with Rob McCaffrey. Uh, not today, Carl. You're not going to run me like that. Uh... So I think his five was on since I thought he was gonna pass me like that again. With only eight race weekends a year, one might think a racer's life is pretty relaxed. But for RJ, there's virtually no break from the onslaught of demands, especially as the year comes to an end. His biggest project of the year, XP1K4, is underway. 
Just got on set of XP1K4. I feel like I just got out of the Pro 2 in Elsinore the other day. It's been a crazy month between getting this knocked out, the last round of Lucas Oil, Sand Show, Off-Road Expo, Camp Razor coming up, SEMA Show. It's a, it's a hectic timing. You think uh, off-season's coming up, all is good, but this is when uh, the money shots go down. I'm stoked to see it all come together. So much that goes into this project before it comes out and behind the scenes with all the sponsors and all the parts and, and the whole build itself and to be able to, to capture it all on camera is a huge part of the process and we've done it for every X21K so far and it's it's definitely important to show everyone the love and, and show really what's gone into, into the build and the whole process. It's the first time I started up the Kohler. What's her name? Next time on RJ37. The last race weekend of the season is here, including the notorious Challenge Cup race, pitting Pro 2s against Pro 4s in an all-out off-road battle.